years ago sitting somewhere over there um, that I suggested to a joint meeting of Environment Waikato and Taupo District Council that we seek for the government to become involved in this project then there was horror stricken can't do that, can't do that we continue to explain that to Environment Waikato they finally got the message and we're now in this um, in this situation of a three way partnership and I think it needs to be minuted perhaps uh, Mr Chairman for those of us who've perhaps not been here um, as long as the joint project has been, um, that it was a very, very um, supportive Minister of Conservation, Minister Marion Hobbs, um, supported by our local member at the time, um, who uh, enabled uh, the government and, and, and um, proposed and promoted strongly that central government become involved. Um, and I would just like that minuted in recognition of the fact that we are now working with a different government uh, in the hope that we can, as a Taupo District Council, work with all central government parties in order to achieve uh, the environmental outcomes of creating a purer, cleaner lake. So happy to second, Mr Chairman. And just on that, as, as, as you don't know or you do know, Ms McLeod and myself and Mr Pitch are surviving members of that original team. <laughs> And uh, thank goodness some of us that have been on there from day one have a little bit of knowledge into this. And I can assure you, Councillor McKelvey, with the Minister Hobbs at the time, I think I did most of the talking and, and uh, really laid it on the line to her, really, at the end of the day. Mm. You either fix this lake up or we turn it into a toilet. And um, she agreed with my firm, uh, former comment. Fortunately. Uh, she was very helpful. Mm. Thank you. Is there any further discussion on this matter? No. Uh, Councillor Welsh. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm not quite sure whether the resolution is to um, do this, go for the multi-year as like the government, or we just... No, no, it's... Um, oh. Um, or we it's just... the two. So just the resolution's on page uh, 10 bar 3, is that... Yeah. It's um, option 2. It's on um, page 10 bar 1. But we're not making the situation... It, it, um, decision at the stage whether we go for the multi-year approach. Um, no, no, no. Perhaps if I, if I can clarify, the suggested res resolution starts right at the top, um, that Taupo District Council will guarantee yeah. that it will honour its share of any contracts entered into. So it's a, we're going for a guarantee, not a multi-year multi yeah, appropriation, um, entered into by the late Taupo Tr Protection Trust with landos for the purchase of nitrogen within the late type of catchment, providing, and I put two provisos in there because, first of all, you want your partners to agree, um, and we also need to make sure that you're not uh, that it's not open ended, that you're only spending the amount of money that um, you have um, set aside over the uh, our total funding commitment um, as set out in the funding deed, um, and that it is we're not paying any more than our share. So that was the, 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 two, pro the two provisos that, that are um, sitting there as well. And Mr Chairman, just to clarify what I was speaking to was option two on page 10 bar one, which is clarified in the actual resolution parts one and two on page 10 bar three. Um, and we take out the or. Uh, and I think at this stage it's also very appropriate, Mr Chairman, that we minute um, your contribution, your long-term contribution to this project and member of the Joint Committee and also to thank um, Ms McLeod and her team in relation to this. Ms McLeod has put an enormous amount of work into this particular project um, and her former links with Environment Waikato and current links with Environment Waikato have been um, hugely beneficial to the relationships which have developed through this project. So thank you, Ms McLeod. Thank you for that. Right, is there any further discussion? There being none, I'll put the motion all in favour. Please say aye. 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 Against is carried. Thank you very much for that. We're now going to agenda item number 14. <laughs> Our meeting dates, there's only three of them there. Uh, I know that the, the Turangi Community Board is all go for next Tuesday and the RNH is all go for Thursday. And thank you, Mr Chairman. There's also a site visit next Wednesday, 6th of October, at 11.30am, meeting at uh, Taupo District Council downstairs. That invitation is, is to you and Councillor Kepper as well to um, go and look at 11.30 on Wednesday the 6th 
to go and look at the um, damage that's been done around the Tapuai Haruru Lake Shore over these last this last okay. week. Any other meetings to be held? Jim, can I just make just one suggestion? Joy? If people coming on that site visit were able to bring their um, Lakeshore Erosion Strategy document, that would be really helpful to you, I believe. All right. Thank you. No other meetings? Uh, Councillor uh, Welsh? Uh, it's not really a meeting of a committee meeting, but the, the ETA group um, is meeting um, on the 5th of October at 10. This is to... Um, to discuss a room, a room arrangements for the opening okay. of the ETA. It's all right. Mm. 10 a.m. So moved. Mm. Second Very good. Kelly, all in favour, please say aye. 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 Against aye. is carried. Number 15, I'll go around this way. Councillor Gethergood, do you have anything? Members' reports? Um, no, thank you. We're just dealing with the members' reports here. Forget the farewell retiring councillors. I'll come to that after right. we need a circle. Thank you. Councillor Welsh. Um, just a report that the, um, um, the regional land transport strategy is near completion, and I can assure members that um, I, at every opportunity I have been putting our district's needs to the to the fore, along with um, Mr. Lewis when he he has uh, attended in this capacity as a member of the uh, um, advisory group. Um, and I can assure Councillor Bernard that, um, that the strategy uh, does um, make uh, provision for walking and cycling. And uh, that's not um, so wherever possible, the, the you know there will be um, advocacy for that. All right, thank you, Councillor Fagan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, no, most of, well, most of them, I would have to say, can go to TK. Um, however, just want to, to recognise and to thank all of those that were responsible for the public day on the ETA. Um, Mr. Ron Boyle, uh, Trish Vile, Jane from Opus, um, Keith Crate for his phenomenal organisational skills of an event, um, the TMARG, for getting the people in wheelchairs um, and mobility scooters there, to the Kennel Club and the Obedience Club for the way that they were able to get all those dogs pooches together, many of them very extraordinarily short-legged, um, and also to all of the cyclists and walkers, everybody that turned out. It wasn't the most wonderful day, and yet it was a wonderful day because of the the atmosphere and the feeling of celebration of people being able to get out there, give something to, to charity, I think it was phenomenal. And the other thing that I would just like to report on was last night the Trust Power Community Awards and congratulations to the supreme winners, which were the Taupo Community Patrol. Okay. Uh, it was excellent. Okay. Thank you. I'm sitting up here, so there's nothing from me. Uh, yeah, a couple of things. Uh, the first one is the uh, Bike Fest uh, Trust Incorporation on the 22nd of last uh, of this month, which was held at McDonald's, and McDonald's is also a, a principal sponsor of that. Um, and just for your um, benefit, is that after my um, leave from this uh, from these chambers, I will be a trustee of that uh, Bike Fest um, Trust. Uh, also, uh, carrying on from the ETA, as Councillor um, um, Ufhagen has mentioned, is, it was a wonderful day, and I believe that if, if Council is looking for some money, the thing to do is actually put a toll gate on either side of, uh, on either end of the road, because the scenic wonders that are to be had going either way would be wondrous, and would I can see potential of, of um, paying for the ETA within 10 years of charging a dollar a, a pop. That's not the first time that's been discussed in this chamber, Council Bernard. And secondly, uh, again, Trust Power Community Awards last night. Yeah, uh, a great event. Seeing so many wonderful community uh, groups uh, supporting the community in our own various ways. It's great to see. Thank you, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, these are all district matters. Um, Tuwhaitoa Kapa Haka Festival on the 15th of August. Um, the district archivist 
at the museum on the same day, and I'm um, with the other members of council present and the full council. I just encourage uh, the incoming council to have some report presented from the archivist. It's absolutely fascinating the work that's being done. Um, on tw the 20th of, the, of August, the District Youth Awards, quite outstanding. Again, the achievements of our young. Um, on the 22nd of August, um, and I'm going to table this, and I'm sorry I haven't had time to copy it and get it to you, but I'll put it all in your pigeonholes or your desks, whichever you'd prefer. Um, it's, the it's the evaluation of the impact of the seasons programs for grief and loss. This is the first time that the survey has been done for the um, grief and loss program. Um, it was conducted... Um, by uh, a lady, Joy Tomaina, who did the report at the Anglican Church uh, the other evening that I was invited to. Um, 23rd of August uh, is the convener of the Karen Aim Memorial Scholarship Working Group. I've convened that group again, and we are proceeding um, to... Pardon? September, <coughs> not August. You're referring to August. Am but I we're... referring to August through all of these, am I? Yes. Oh, we're well, actually I'm just in only September. a month behind. Does that mean that the elections aren't yes. for another six weeks? How oh, wonderful. <laughs> 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 Sorry, it's September. Thank you, Councillor. Well, it might be that um, the results are going to come out in another ten days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, the Karen A. Memorial Scholarship Working Group, I've convened that again, and that group is working now towards the awarding of memorial scholarships, art scholarships, at the two uh, college... Um, Senior prize givings in November. Um, fantastic day on the or evening on the 23rd, the School of Music Big Music Day. Yeah. Um, and if any of us ever get invited to that again, I really would encourage you to go. It's absolutely outstanding what has been created in this district um, through part, partly through Tupper District Council funding and other funding, in terms of the um, the breadth and depth of talent and skill um, amongst our, our youth right down to people probably four years old and up. Um, new art exhibition on Saturday morning at the museum, fascinating stuff, and again the District Community Awards last night. Um, and in terms of a learning experience, every time I go to those awards, I, I just you learn more and more about the incredible voluntary activity in our district communities. It's just outstanding. Councillor Blythe, I missed you. Oh, okay. Councillor Blythe. Councillor Kebba. Oh, I thought Councillor Blythe might want to say something about emergency management yesterday. You're very welcome to say whatever you want to say. Why you all step <laughs> twice, isn't it? <coughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Someone like to move that those reports. Oh. Oh, Councillor Gathergood. Yep. I actually had a report written and oh, right. typed up and copied for you. Oh, very good. Um, and it's a report to Taupo District Council. I will table it. Okay. Um, and it's just um, my representation on the Taupo District Community Health Forum. So, And it just gives you an overview of what's been happening. So I can put it in your cubby holes if yes. you would like. Yes, Thank please. You. We need to do that now because um, this is our, well, we've got some of us back in the Right, someone would like to move that those reports be accepted, please. Moved. Councillor Heckling, Councillor Blythe, all in favour say aye. 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 Now, I see there's another item. Farewell to retiring councillors. Councillor Gathergood, I see the Deputy CEO stood up, so I don't know too much about what's going on here. And Councillor Bernard, uh, there is an agenda item here. Are you going to be back shortly, Councillor uh, Deputy CEO? Uh, oh, you're going to get some goodies. As the Deputy Mayor, I'd just like to say to Councillor Good, uh, Gathergood, the Mayor has already made comments earlier on. I work with Councillor Gathergood. She, that is correct. She has served three and a bit terms. Uh, she got back on in early 2002, and I came in not long after her. Uh, mind you, I'd already been here way back in 1992. I'm a part-timer or a recycled version. And <laughs> Councillor Gathergood has worked with myself on the RNH committee all those times, and I, I wish her well in her retirement. Um, they tell me the, the farm's gone and you're moving in to become an urban dweller now. Townie, yes. A townie, and, uh, and we wish you all the well in your retirement. And it looks like there's a bunch of flowers here. There is, 
Am I, am I to give them to him? Well, you can give them to him, Mr. Senior. No, you can give them. You can hand them to him. Don't fight.